Okay, on this shot, I'm going to make sure I do not flip it. Make sure I don't roll this thing over. I'm going to make sure I don't stop my hips. I want to try to open. So, oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. Eric Solar, EJS Golf Academy. Um, does that sound familiar at all? Don't do this. Don't do that. I also hear it on the golf course, too. Don't go over there. Don't do that. What if we change things around to what we want to do? Okay, what if we do? Now, I, I'm going to put a caveat to that. I don't like seeing internal thoughts, okay, when we're swinging. Okay, I, I don't mind taking a practice swing and, and having as many internal thoughts as you have. Like, if you want to say, you know, I'm getting it wide here. My hand's far away from my shoulders. I'm going to get some good, good depth, okay? The way down, I'm going to start getting this club face more shut, so I'm more here. Mentioned my back when I get to this point. When I come here, I'm going to be nice and loaded up like that. Okay. I just gave my body some good sensations. Okay. Now, when I go over the ball, though, I'm going to completely change it to what, I, what I'm going to feel. I'm going to tell myself this back pocket right here is going to hit something back here. That's not there, but I'm going to imagine it. Because that's going to be me kind of working a little bit on my early extension issue. So if I tell myself it's going to hit something back there, I can just, like, visualize it back there, visualize it back there, then I'll be okay. So... I mean, I can even tell I got back there like that, okay? And look at it here. Yeah, good shot. So um, let's try to focus more on what we want to do and also move much more towards our, our real shot that we're going to play towards external cues. Now, here's the thing. When you're practicing golf, you go to the driving range and you're seeing here hitting 700, 700, 700, whatever it is, that's not going to help you. We have to change up clubs. One of the things I tell students is play a golf course that you know really well in your head. Okay. Tee off at your home golf course, whatever it is. You know, you hit, let's say you hit a little bit right. Oh, okay. I know that's probably under that tree. Okay. Then you grab your six iron, whatever it is, and you got to chip it out. Play around like that. So then you're going to be switching clubs. You're going to be acting, you're going to make thoughts that are more like on the course instead of when you just stand here and just hit. So the reason I brought that up is Let's start working on our external and internal cues while we're here, not just going to the course. So I want to take a practice swing here on the drawing range that I'm working on something, right? I want to feel it every time. Here's the thing. If I'm not doing a slow motion move to practice what I'm trying to do and I'm just swinging full speed, it'll never work because all I'm going to do is be reacting to my old motor pattern. So I have to do some swings that are going to be for me like this. Okay, now I'm done with that. Now I'm going to go to my same thought again for my external cue. Okay, I'm getting it. Okay, now I think I did it. Felt pretty good. Third and before. So I would have had video to check it. Okay, I'm obviously using video right now for this um, video we're doing, but I would have checked it and make sure I'm doing okay with it. Otherwise, what's the point? What if I went home and did all that process like at home? I think I did it. <laughs> not good enough, right? We have to know. So there's some more practice tips. And folks, I've been in this game teaching, well, I'm 51 now, playing competitively up till my early 20s. So I got hurt and then teaching for over 20-something years now. Um, the longer I do this, the more I just see that this game is in what we do with practice. Okay? I do not see hardly anybody practicing correctly when I go to the driving range. I just see people grab their seven iron driver or whatever and bang it over and over and over and over. Nothing doing, not doing anything in between to tell our body what to do or having a sort, sort of feedback or anything to check it against. So if I am working on something, let's say I have, I'll just pick something because a lot of people have this. This, this thing that goes over the top, real violent with my upper body, right? How am I ever going to fix that if I grab my driver at full speed? I'm not, because when you understand how our, our when, how, when you understand how motor patterns work, you'll understand that I will just be reacting, okay? At some point, at some speed in my golf swing, it's called reaction, okay? So that means it's like somebody throws a punch at your face, you're going to do whatever. Whatever you've been trained to do, if you're a martial artist, you, you, you're going to do something different with your hands and somebody may, may go like that if they don't know what to do. But you have some reaction that you're going to go with, okay? And in order to change that, you're going to have to have done a lot of moves, a lot of practice, so that when that real punch had come, you're ready for it. If not, you're going to react the same way you would have uh, before. So, yes, are these a little more difficult to institute than just standing there? Yes, but there's not a single study out there that proves it doesn't make you better. 
it makes you way better. I had a lot of studies that prove standing at the driving range, hitting ball for ball for ball, doesn't make you better. It actually makes you worse. Okay, so folks, thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions, leave a question or a comment or a question in the uh, bottom there. Subscribe to the channel, that'd be great too. Eric Silver, EJS Golf County.